after many years, NATO has stopped the collective decline in defense spending. Over the past two years, most NATO members have halted cuts and begun investing more in defense. And this means defense spending across the alliance is now scheduled to increase. I especially want to commend our friends in the UK, Poland, Greece, Estonia, all who, along with the United States, pay their full share of at least 2% of GDP for our collective defense. But for those of you doing the math, that means that the majority of allies are still not hitting that 2% mark, an obligation we agreed to in Wales. So we had a very candid conversation about this. And there's a recognition that given the range of threats that we face and the capabilities that we need, everybody's got to step up and everybody's got to do better.